Okay, you've updated to macOS Sonoma and wonder how to get the most out of all the exciting new features. Well, turns out quite a few of them are actually switched off by default. So let's take a tour through 14 macOS Sonoma exclusive settings you should change right now. Number 14 being properly live video wallpapers, at least for your Mac's lock screen. In system settings under wallpaper, there's now a large collection of drone shots or underwater recordings that will smoothly animate and play on your lock screen. And to add some excitement, choose the shuffle option and you'll be greeted by a new video each time you switch on your Mac. Lovely. Now, macOS Sonoma brings some huge changes to the desktop. We'll talk about exciting new widgets in a moment, but before, there's a small setting that people with a messy desktop might enjoy. In the desktop and dock section of system settings, you can now turn off show items. This will hide all the files on your desktop, which is quite practical if you, let's say, share your screen during a video call. Oh, and quick side note, you can now simply click anywhere on your wallpaper and all of your currently open windows move out of the way. Click again and they fly back in. Now let's talk widgets, because with macOS Sonoma, those hop from your sidebar to anywhere on your desktop. Right click your wallpaper and select edit widgets. Popping up is the widgets gallery and you can drag and drop any widget anywhere on your desktop. That's pretty cool already. But what's even better is that quite a few widgets are now interactive. Like for example, you could use a home widget to switch on your lights, or a reminders widget to tick finished tasks, all without opening the corresponding apps. Now, by right-clicking a widget, you can make some hidden tweaks, like for the contact widget. Instead of simply displaying a contact, we can choose to show buttons. So now we get shortcuts to quickly call or message that person. Pretty neat. And what's more, all of your iPhone's widgets now sync to the Mac even if there's no Mac version of them. So you can add a real-time flight tracker from the Flighty app or even a Snapchat widget to get some memories. Quite cool. Siri, open system settings. Cheers. And yes, you've heard right, with macOS Sonoma, you don't need the hey anymore. Simply saying Siri is enough. You can enable the just Siri trigger in the Siri and search section. Just select listen for Siri and hey Siri. As easy as that. Now, whenever you encounter those websites asking you to confirm your login with a code, your Mac can help. So for starters, macOS already autofills confirmation codes you get as an SMS on your iPhone. If you've never used this feature, it might be switched off. So open the settings app on your iPhone, scroll down to messages and under text message forwarding, tap the toggle next to your Mac. Now what's new with macOS Sonoma is that your Mac now also detects confirmation codes in your mail. And what's kind of a huge deal is that in the settings under passwords and then password options, you can enable cleanup. This deletes the messages or emails with the confirmation codes automatically after use, so your message app looks clean and tidy. And as they say, sharing is caring. So macOS Sonoma brings proper password sharing to the Mac. By clicking the plus above your keychain passwords, you can create so-called password groups with any iCloud user. Add one or more trusted contacts and choose the passwords you want to share. Click done and they now have access to those passwords. Now, the new Safari hides some pretty useful privacy and security features. In the Safari settings under privacy, you can now check required touch ID to view locked tabs, meaning to switch to your sneaky websites in the private browsing window, now have to unlock it with touch ID. And to take private browsing privacy one step further, in the search section, you can now choose two different default search engines, one for your normal browsing and one may be more privacy focused for private browsing. Moving up the privacy ladder once more in the advanced section, Apple has already checked advanced tracking or fingerprinting protection by default, but only for private browsing. With macOS Sonoma, you can change the setting to expand to all browsing, so the websites you visit will have a much harder job identifying or tracking your Mac. But I would say the most significant change to Safari in macOS Sonoma is profiles. Let's say you use the same Mac and browser for work and your private stuff. Then in the settings, you could create two profiles, one work, one personal profile. They now have separate browsing history, cookies, favorite websites, start pages, 
and website data. It's basically like having two completely different browser apps, but each profile is just a button click away right here in the toolbar. Reminders has also had an upgrade, a very simple but useful one. For any new list, you can change the view options to columns. This will create vertical stacks between which you can drag and drop your reminders slash tasks to better visualize different project stages. Quite smart. Speaking of which, when creating a new list, there's now a shopping list setting. When enabled, your Mac understands and automatically sorts added items into categories like bread and cereals, produce or personal healthcare. But I would say some of the most significant changes in macOS Sonoma hide in FaceTime or any video calling app on your Mac. You see, whether you're in let's say a Teams, Zoom or FaceTime call, you can tweak three quick settings to drastically upgrade your Mac's webcam video quality. Up here in the menu bar, click the camera icon. Now we've already had the portrait option, but we can now expand this slider and adjust the amount of background blur. The new studio option adds brightness to your face and dims the background. And fun and games is the reactions feature. So by simple hand gestures, you can trigger reactions like fireworks, rain, or hearts. So go spread some love. But on the more useful side of features, macOS Sonoma offers a new way to present and share your Mac screen. Once in a video call, start screen sharing any app window. Next, choose one of the presenter overlay options. Small lets you sit in a small cutout. Large places your shared screen next to your head. Very immersive. And again, this should work in any of your video calling apps. Now, earlier we've talked about Siri, but even with the new single trigger word, it's still quite embarrassing to use Siri in public. That's why you can actually type your requests and casually chat with Siri. If you want to know where to find that setting, you should watch this video next and discover 11 additional settings making your Mac the best Mac it's ever been. Alright, I will see you there. Thank you so much for watching and have an amazing day. Okay.